Take a live look outside right now at the Seattle waterfront looking pretty nice out there 417 right now and the sun was out today Mike it was nice to see because this weekend it was a little drab in the city of Seattle a little drab it a was little. a lot drab in <laughs> fact the big story today is the fact that you can actually see the waterfront out there we had that dense fog in place yeah. throughout most of the weekend but the good news is it's going away but as Greg alluded to earlier the not so good news is it will be replaced by rain I'll show you that in a moment but let me show you SeaTac because I wasn't able to all weekend long. Gorge, whoop, okay, where'd you go? There we go. Everett Payne Field it makes a great substitution there. Again, we couldn't say, see this all weekend long. If you were with us during the weekend shows, you couldn't even see the runway lights or any of the cars in the foreground. So things moving in the right direction there. But here's a glimpse into the future. As we look off towards the west, there's Westport. We've got rain moving in there, and that is headed our way over the next few hours. So here's what to expect. No more fog, at least until next weekend. Showers will push in overnight tonight. Weak system for the first one, but it looks like the one that we're tracking Wednesday into Thursday it could be a little more robust, but doesn't have any flooding concerns with it. I'll walk you through that in a moment. And then it looks like we're going to do a repeat next weekend. We're losing a lot of our cameras right now. Good thing we saw the waterfront earlier. Currently 48 degrees there. And again, we did see some sunshine this afternoon. And as Jessica was saying earlier, the days are getting longer. In fact, on the 26th of January, the sun will be setting at 5.01 p.m. There is light and hope on the horizon. Over the next 12 hours, we'll see that cloud cover give way to some light rain starting right around 9 o'clock tonight. I'll use Futurecast to walk you through that, but let me show you the soupy mess that's behind all that. Now, nothing particularly well organized, but if you look at the very tail end of the sequence here, you can see a frontal boundary that's going to move through here over the next 24 hours. That's going to pick up the wind a little bit, 20, 25 miles an hour, but that will scour out the rest of that fog for us. Temperatures sitting very polite lately in the mid 40s in Bremerton, some low 50s in Renton, Olympia and Chehalis, even Hoquiam's getting 50 degrees right now, 44 in Bellingham and 43 in Mount Vernon. Let's take a look at the future. So as we go into the afternoon and evening here, you're seeing some snow way up high. I'll show you snow levels in a moment because that's part of our story too. A little bit of a rain shadow that'll set up over top of the Puget Sound around 8 o'clock tonight. And then just everything that comes through is going to be fairly light and sporadic. In fact, by the time we get to tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, most of the showers are pushed up along the foothills there. There, some light showers out towards the coast and the snow keeps coming down in the passes there, but no big deal that we're not expecting anything in the way of any travel impacts. Tuesday at 530 about 24 hours from now again showers will just kind of taper off and hang out along the eastern side of the I-5 corridor. And then as we make our way towards Wednesday, a bigger delivery comes in. This is going to be right mid afternoon on Wednesday where we're going to see that moderate to heavy rain push through and that'll be with us through Thursday before that frontal boundary that we were taking a look at earlier pushes through late Thursday afternoon and then things should start to calm and quiet behind that. In fact, it looks like a ridge of high pressure will set up behind that just in time for next weekend. So in the short term here, we're talking about some fairly light rain returns. No big deal there. And again, no flooding concerns whatsoever. This is just regular good old fashioned rain and we'll take it. Snow levels are going to do something wild over the next few days. They're going to drop nicely as that system moves through down to about 3,500 feet on Wednesday, pop back up to 5,500 feet on Thursday. So again, not expecting any travel impacts. Next weekend, high pressure builds in. The bad news is the snow level goes way up to 10,000 feet. The good news is we're not expecting much precipitation, so hopefully no rain on our new snow. Anyway, if you're planning on heading up between now and Tuesday afternoon, it looks like we could be tracking about another half foot of snow up towards Stevens Pass. Seven day forecast shows overnight temperatures touching down in the mid 40s overnight. We'll get ourselves into the upper 40s on Tuesday. Rain Wednesday, Thursday and Friday and the fog returns again next weekend.